about Camilla. Let's find out what's going on. If you like the video, I hope you do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very, very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, let's talk about her. Camilla, is she ready? I think she is ready. Does she want it? I don't know. We'll take a look. See what you think. So this is always how it was going to be. And how many generations does it take for the royals to correct all their um, mistakes? So finally, Camilla, the divorcee, is going to be the consort. Let's see what that looks like. I'll say so. This is a grand, or tarot grand lux, tarot grand lux, another Cairo Marchetti uh, deck. This guy is just a machine putting out these cards, but they come in a great box. And uh, they've got a really useful uh, guidebook as far as the divination is concerned. It's easy to read, and it's, you know, handheld. And, you know, it's just another of uh, Cairo Marchetti's version of uh, tarot cards, which all seem to be pretty cool. Um, they're easy to use, and they've got a nice kind of a matte finish that doesn't slide out of your hands too easily. And uh, so I do this so you get a chance to look at the cards and see how they are. Maybe you don't uh, buy a lot of cards or look at a lot of different cards, but if you watch my channel, you do. <laughs> so there we go. Good way to get to your energy all over the, all over them, and um, and so I don't know, I think that kind of makes for a better uh, read uh, when everything's all said and done. So here we go. With these uh, tarot grand lux. It's some funny thing that I always want to say grand lux tarot, and um, I bet everybody does that. But anyway, we'll use these and get this going. Okay, so this is going to deal with Camilla. Is it the king's consort? Is that the general term? Okay. We don't believe that she will be called queen. So I'll just use that very general term, Camilla, as the king's consort. And let's see what the cards have to tell us. The first, the, the card that fall, fell right out of my hands is this knight of coins. And this knight, coins are value, they are earth, they are solid. And when the knight is given uh, this coin, that knight is going to carry that coin uh, forward and do their job. And this is Camilla. This is who Camilla has been and will be. Okay. So let's get these cards shuffled up and see if we get a message about Camilla as Charles's rock as Philip was to Elizabeth. Camilla as King's Consort. Camilla as King's Consort. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Camilla as the King's Consort. Camilla as a king's consort. The signifier card for that uh, is this nine of swords. You know, the nine of swords is a nightmare. Okay? Swords are truths, justice, rules, law. And we see in this window behind this this uh, ominous uh, lead work here, this, this shadowy figure, this uh, almost Halloween-like face. And we see this woman just really engulfed in that in that in that nightmare could this be how Camilla will feel about what she will be charged with the challenge to that then is this page of wands you know pages of wands are actions their plans their movement forward their fire okay and the page is the very weakest of the court um, of the court uh, members, okay? This page, though, has a firm grip on this plan and seems to be very confident 
and what they are bringing to court. So, what is Camilla's plan? Let's hope that her plan is to be the, the true support for Charles. Okay? The basis of this reading, then, is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune has certainly been very much in effect in Camilla's life, okay? She was thrown into the situation with Charles at such a young age. The granddaughter of a woman who was so uh, personally involved uh, with the king, okay? Uh, so this Wheel of Fortune, as the base of this reading, tells me that this was always going to be her fate, to be where she is in the capacity that she's there, okay? She doesn't come into it as a wonderfully uh, loved queen from the beginning, okay? She had to earn through maneuvering uh, whatever uh, position she has now. And a lot of people say that she has done so. Uh, the past of this reading is the Ace of Swords. You know, swords are truth, justice, rules, power, okay? And the past of this reading, this Ace of Swords, just tells us, almost like the, the sword that... Uh, in King Arthur's tale, having to be pulled out of a out of a stone, that uh, this eagle eye, this is something. This truth is something she brought with her into this situation. In the sky, this reading again is a knight, but this is a knight of swords now. So now she's become a knight, fully determined to move forward with this truth, this justice, these rules, this law, this, um, this um, um, choice that she's been, uh, that's been thrust upon her, some would say. The likely outcome of the first part of this uh, Celtic cross then is the Three of Wands, and you know, wands are forward movement, their plans, their actions. This uh, um, Three of Wands is looking into the future, knowing that things have to be uh, dealt with for future generations, the future of this monarchy, okay? So th the plans have been made, and now it's just carrying that out. Let's see what the self of this question is as queen, not queen, that was a, a, a Freudian slip, it's Camilla, king's consort. Well, again, we repeat that night of coins that, that fell out of the deck to begin with. So she comes into this with a firm grip on her value, okay? Um, you know, in the stock market we talk of bears and bulls. Bears uh, being the sluggish, sluggish um, strength that might move something forward and bulls charging forward uh, with some sort of vigor. And I see uh, this bear as a perfect example of Camilla really coming full into her strength of her value. Okay, as this knight uh, for uh, her king. The environment that that's in is the Two of Swords. That Two of Swords is, again, having to make a choice. Which way are we going to go? It's not f completely clear, but you can see through the veil and you know what's the best, uh, or what the options are, at least. Okay, so truth, justice, uh, forward movement, that's the environment that uh, that Camilla's in. Yeah, everything is going to progress. There are going to be choices to made to be made, and she can see vaguely what those have to be. It's clear to her. These are strong, strong, strong cards for Camilla. The hopes and the fears of this, then, the Four of Cups. It's, again, you know, compassion, emotion, having something here that this person is almost longing for, something to complete this set. Okay, something that is just going to make this a full circle of moving forward. Sometimes this, this Four of Cups seems like something that you don't want to accept, but I don't know, this Four of Cups looks to me like, okay, yeah, I know that I have to take it, and I'm acknowledging it. That looks to me like Charles. And then in the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing is this Two of Wands, short-term plans. Now, short-term plans... For me, I wonder if this means that maybe Charles won't be in that position as as long as he might have wished to, okay? The gates are open. The plans are firmly in place. But we're being invited to go past that, okay, into this um, 
um, moody sort of a, a, a forest. So this looks to me like Camilla is going to be there for Charles through thick and thin. So she comes into this uh, as this nine of swords, this nightmare situation, okay? No one would ever want to uh, enter into the situation under the conditions that uh, are, are clearly present. The uh, challenge to that is this page of wands, this page with the action in his hand, not knowing fully what is going to happen to it, but gladly bringing it to court for decision. The base of this reading is that wheel of fortune that Camilla has found herself uh, running on. Okay, The past of this reading is this uh, ace of swords, just a firm truth, justice, rule, power. Yes, it's clearly in place. The sky of this reading with this knight of swords just tells us that this woman has a steely determination to take this truth and defend it. The likely outcome of all of this is this uh, Three of Wands, which is telling us she, we're looking towards long-term plans. The self of the question brings us right back to the card that fell on the pack with this Knight of Coins, Camilla holding on to her value with, again, the steely determination. In the environment of knowing that there are decisions to be made that aren't completely clear yet, but they are, she's, this uh, uh, maiden is, is confident in uh, that decision being made. This Four of Cups, just for me, is Charles. There's some on the table. There's one more left to complete this set, and he's ready to take it on when the time is right, okay? He's not reaching out for it. He's saying, I understand. I see it right there, and when it comes down, that's when we'll uh, make those decisions we have to make. But the, the likely outcome of the whole thing are short-term plans. This won't be a long reign for Charles. He, just by the fact of his age now, and... Um, that's what we're looking at, short-term plans as opposed to these long-term plans. And it's interesting that it's right above that. So that's what I've got for Camilla. She's there. It's not her dream. It's almost her nightmare. But she's there to do what she has to do. It was always going to be Camilla. They're going to make the best of it for however long it lasts. That's the fact. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.